Hey guys, we are here at the Kendall and Friends Playground in Jasmine County. This is one of five playgrounds, very special playground, very special story, very special young lady I'm going to introduce you to here in just a minute. All these fine folks of Jasmine County have helped make this happen, Doug, Kendall and Friends. It's such a great story. When you come out here and you see these kids and these families, this isn't just about children with disabilities. It's it's adults as well. Absolutely. We have a, a lot of adults that make use of this park and it's, it's just so gratifying when you come out here on a daily basis on a beautiful day like this and you see it being used. It's, it's a great asset for our community. It took a lot of people to make this happen. I understand a lot of teachers got involved as well. Yes, we have um, a camp called All Abilities Drama Camp and we had this idea, I think it was last May, and it brings chills to me to think that in May we had this idea and by October kids were already playing on the playground. Just with the dream of kids playing together and having access to all the same equipment. So. It was a dream, but now it's a reality you guys talk a bit about that and where we go from here with this playground well we have a next phase planned um, hopefully funding will be shortly available for the splash park so that's that's exciting for Nicholsville and Justin County now is that for adults too Yes, ma'am. Sure <laughs> and Dwayne said he's getting on it as soon as it's built, right? All right, Brody, let's go over here and see Kendall. You want to come with me? Brody is fascinated by the microphone. Do you want to say hi? Hello. Hello, Brody said. Okay, Crimson and Kendall are with us, and Crimson is the one who had this dream and made it a reality because her daughter, Kendall. It was a need for Kendall, and now you see what a great need it is for so many other families. Absolutely. We, we started this journey with very little resources, and we thought, you know, we're going to make this happen no matter what, and we're just the people that planted the seed. To be honest, it would not, this would not have happened if we did not have all of these donors and supporters who have given us money and raised money and held car washes and fundraisers and bake sales to make all of this happen. Well, it's not just this one. There's, as I mentioned, this is one of five, but we have more in store. How many more? We actually have four more that we are working on right now. We just started fundraising for them and we are so excited that 2019 is going to bring four more fully inclusive playgrounds. If there are communities out there who are interested in putting this in their area, what do they need to do? How can they get in touch with you? So they can contact us via email. They can message us through our Facebook page. We also have a website. They can contact us and we will be more than happy to help them find resources in their area. We can help them fundraise or provide them information on how we got started if that's something that they want to do on their own. We are not here to compete with anybody. We just want to make sure that all of these kids get the opportunity that all of the typical kids do. So we are more than willing to help anybody that wants to get one started. Beautiful job, Mama. Beautiful Thank job, Kendall. You. All right, I'm Deanne Stevens out and about in Jasmine County. Back to you guys.